And you know, Tom, when they kept them, uh, and you and I were just talking about the golden dollar, it is, it's like, you know, this is where you almost can, like, if you were a fundamentalist, and you're looking at it like, what do you do with that book? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, okay, sure. it's so unusual. Uh, but it is what it is, folks, okay? And it, they're all different investment vehicles, and it looks like uh, the reality is that here, if we go over to this dollar, this dollar right now is busting into its higher range. Uh, I put this back three years. You're going to see it had a big day yesterday. Um, you know, today's not huge, but it's not small either. You know, you're up 200 ticks, and when you get this together the bottom oh my god oh. i saw it. it's going to peak above that line right it, it is uh let me just do it again what happens is i need a steady hand as i do this folks so it doesn't run away on me but you're going to see that this is the bottom line is that you know you you're getting above this trend line. And Definitely. That's the first time, man. We've it, been watching this for yeah. a couple of weeks or whatnot, and, yeah. and it's actually above the it, trend line, not just above, you know, you could, we could have been looking at the most recent high, that's right? That's right. That's right. Um, that's right. And, and that's what is that recent high? 99.667. And we hit 99.660, you know? And it's, okay. not, it's not backing off. I mean, you know, you know we'll see. Oh, no, it's we'll right see, there. We'll see right, how this quite... shakes out. And what, that, what that's about, folks, if we go over to the euro and look at the euro, what you're going to see here with the euro, the euro is breaking down. And the euro is 60% of the dollar. You can see that, you know, that the euro had a tough, <laughs> it had a tough, like, uh, three months here, right? Well, 112, yes. yeah, 112 to 107. And what's happened with the euro, and this is where I think that, you know, this dollar is actually going to, you know, get a lot stronger, is that, I mean, the, the lowest swing point on the euro is uh, like 103. Well, what's stopping it? Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. There's not, there's not much here. So, and, you know, gold, folks, if we go to gold, gold's in an ABC up. I mean, we were in, we were in a complex one. Bottom line is that yesterday you had the price spread, you had the volume, uh, all of the above. When you see this, what do you see the expansion of volume on this baby? It's a beauty. Yeah, 414,000 contracts. You know, the last swing point here had 321. It's pretty hard to get up to those four and 500 uh, levels. Could, could you price gold in euros? Yes. Yeah. And um, GC. See what we look like, and then maybe see what we look like uh, on like a longer term basis going back. It's so cool. Where do you see this, folks? Okay. So I got the generic contract up here. I'm going to put it up for 15 years, and then what I'll do is I'll, we'll, we'll price it in a couple different... Uh, okay, so if you're watching Tiger TV, this is how it is in U.S. dollars. So you, you can see where we're at. We're at 16.02. The all-time high is 1920. Okay? Now watch this. This is where this gets wild. Now we go into the euros. The chart will change, and you'll see how this shakes out. It's, it's just amazing, actually. So... The all-time high that in 2000, uh, let's see, 1378 euros. Yeah, 13, 1388 euros was the all-time high in 012 until now. Now you're at 1489 euros versus 1388. Now watch this. It's remarkable, definitely. It, isn't it? It's, it's like crazy. Yeah. Now if we take it, I'm gonna, I'll put it in British pounds next. Oh, boy. And Some volatility there. Yeah. When we take a look at the pounds, what you're going to see in the pounds, the all-time high used to be 1204. That's in 2011. And uh, four months ago, we hit 1283. And right now, we're at 1241. So we're still over it. We're at 1241. Sure. Now, I'm going to put it in the yen. What oh, wrong one. Close that one. Put it in the Japanese yen. JPY, where are you? There we go. And then I'm going to put it on the Australian dollar. What do you see on the Australian okay. dollar? It's so, well, the same with the yen. Look at this. So the all-time all high in the yen was 158,000 yen. We're at 178,000 yen. Quite a move, yeah. And then watch this. This is pretty intense. I was actually put it on, uh, let's do this one. We'll put it on the Canadian dollar and, come on, on the... Uh, Aussie dollar. It's stopping on me here. I think you had to hit back to close. Okay. No, that just 
Yeah. There we go. Okay, so now I'll put it on the Aussie dollar. This is like extraordinary. This is like, oh my God. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. So yeah. the Aussie dollar, folks, it was 1827 in 2011, which is Oz. And the Australian dollar were 2408. That's, all, that's about 30% above the high. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And then let's go to the Canadian dollar. And on the Canadian dollar, let's see where we're at. Okay, so the Canadian dollar, the high was 1902. And we are at 2129. Isn't that yeah. wild, man? Yes. That's, that's every, every major currency, folks. You know, that's the bottom line.